everybody. I thought I'd do a separate propagation video. I know at the end of one of my videos I showed some of the ways I propagate, but I thought maybe a separate video would be great. So, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please click like. And if you don't like, let me know what I can do to improve. And... Please, please, please leave me a comment, because I like them the best. All right. I like to use all kinds of different vintage things to propagate with. And as you can see, there's plenty of roots on my syngonium that needs potted. Here's a little blue glass from the dollar store. And I have some golden pothos in there. They've been in there quite a while, probably months. And you can see how long this one is. But it wasn't getting enough sun in my bedroom, so that's why it looks like that. Here's some pieces of fur fuzzy baby bunny bellies. And there was a broken piece, huge piece, laying at Lowe's. And the manager said I could have it because it was just going to end up in trash. And here's some more of it sitting in a little vase I thrifted. And I have very narrow, narrow window ledges. This is about all the bigger that they can be. And now everything's fallen out. So this is some more baby, fuzzy baby belly Fuzzy baby bunny bellies. <laughs> it's a tongue twister. These are a couple coleus cuttings that I grew from seed and I just wanted to maybe save some of the side shoots because I think the mother plants are going to be too big to bring inside. There's another one. I like the leaf because it's spotted yellow with that streak down the middle. So, that's everything right there. And there's one of the coasters I got at the thrift store for a quarter or 50 cents or something. And that tray is thrifted and it's trying to block the air conditioner vent down there. So here's some more propagation. Here's another coleus I grew from seed that I love the netting behind it, which is like that piece I found at a supermarket. But it has the pink in the middle. That isn't a cutting. That is an aloe I bought for my grandson because of basketball, trying to get him interested in plants. Here's the cuttings of the begonias that Suzette sent me. But some of the leaves got fried in the mail. This is a cutting of a golden pothos that I just brought out of my bedroom. I'm going to take outside. It's in a vintage vase. I collect these blue vases. Here's another cutting of a vintage in a vintage vase. Here's another Base. I think I showed this the other day. It's purple. Look at all those roots. These need potted. Here's my Cebu Blue that I haven't gotten potted yet. But I have it in this great big vase, so it's getting lots of humidity. Check this out. This was supposed to be a dollar. Originally it was $4.95. And I paid 50 cents for it. I think they're adorable. They'll make a nice little setting when I bring my plants in. Alright, that's everything there. Now, for the real ingenious way of doing things. Here's one of those cheese dishes or trays or covers. And I have a little shot glass in there. And as you can see, everything has a lot of roots. Lots and lots of roots. That's a Brazil, a tiny little piece that broke off. So they root very well in there. 
And then these were those thrifted dishes, and I helps to get them up high. That's a coleus that's new for the year, and it has lots of roots. That one's hard to root. I don't know why. This is a lid off of some expensive cream. And this was underneath one of the cheese things. This is a, just a vase with syngonium and some golden pothos. Here's a coleus I grew from seed. This is from my plant outside that was just a couple little pieces. And we had a bad storm and it broke off so it doesn't have any roots yet. But I love using my vintage faces. And here's a little cutting that is very hard to grow. These little plantlets hang down from the mother plant. I'm not sure of the name but it's in the Gloxenia family because it has little miniature white flowers and it's supposed to be for a candle in there and this is supposed to be for a candle in a flower setting but I turn it upside down and I have a little terrarium this is a cutting from a coleus I grew from seed and it's a very delicate one unlike its siblings which are monsters so there's water down in there, and that's a little turkey um, toothpick holder, I think. So it holds it very nicely so that the leaves don't get in. And if you have salt and pepper shakers that don't match, or you find one for a quarter or something somewhere, I like them to put flowers in or cuttings. There's another pretty. Look how shiny it is. Now, here's another coleus I grew from seed that I'm trying to root, and you can see there, there's a lot of roots. It's just in a little pretty cut glass face. Now here's another little cheese thing. These are heavy. This is very heavy glass. Not at all delicate. And so you can see I have a lot of little cuttings in here that are doing well. And these guys are even getting new leaves. I think you can see, let's see, right here. See the new leaves that they're getting. So they need potted up. And they'll probably need a little time to acclimate. And sometimes I put wandering Jew and this is fuzzy baby bunny bellies Tridescanthia in there and it helps them to root so I'll put the lid back on so I wanted to this is the main reason why I did this video is I wanted to show you how neat this is if you find these at a thrift shop this one is very delicate the top is clear you can see, but this glass is very, very thin, so I worry about it all the time. But these, this one is new because it's been forever in the kitchen trying to root. No roots, but the other ones, I tried to root these little cuttings. And I don't know whether the color is showing up or not on these. It's not focusing. Maybe if I give it a second. But they're very delicate. It was a little hanging basket and there were pieces of it at Lowe's, so I brought them home. But these little guys, let's see if I can get the camera down there. They are just little hanging plantlets. They look like miniature African violets but I think they're in the Gloxenia family and they were hard to root but there are little roots coming out okay there see the little roots coming out 
but they're just laying sideways in this little, I think, coaster. There goes a leaf that was sitting in water. And that's a pill bottle in the middle. But these taller little cuttings are able to fit up inside this hollow, inside that hollow. So, and there's another syngonium, etc. cutting in an old clear glass. And I use that dish back there sometimes to put, I don't know what kind of fancy dish it is, but I put water in that and then I'll put a plant inside to give it some extra humidity. And also that height helps them get more sun. So, I hope you enjoyed, whoops, that really, that backlight really doesn't help. And also this little turntable, I like it just so I can get some height here. And my humidity, it says the humidity is 60%, but this is an old one, so you can adjust it back there because this other one I think is more accurate and it says about 50% humidity. And it's just nice to be able to see if they're correct. So I'm going to adjust this one because it's not 67% humidity in here. And I'll show you one more thing. I got this at Dollar General. It's a little light. I'll turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing. But it's a little light. You can see down in there. So as soon as I get a light bulb for it, it'll be nice. And it was supposed to be maybe $20, something like that. I don't know what the original price was. don't know whether it's on there or not. Oh, wait, here it is, down inside. Oh, <laughs> down inside, but should be sticking out the bottom. I'll tell you how much I got it for. They said clearance $9, so I don't know how much it is underneath there, but I got it for $4.50, and it added up to my $20, $25 you have to spend to get $5 off. It was supposed to be 10, so it was a whole dollar off. So, I just thought that would be neat, because it's plant leaves. So, you know the deal, um, I love YouTube and all my plant friends and please subscribe please click like and if you don't like let me know what you don't like I can't change the filming I have to use my camera on my cell phone so until I get rich and can afford Wi-Fi and can afford the computer so I can edit, this is what we're stuck with. So, I love this coleus, but it's like, it doesn't show up very well. Anyhow, thank you all so very, very much for coming to my channel. And I appreciate all the knowledge that we share here. And please, 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 leave me a comment. Isn't that pretty? There's Brandy. I gotta get her potted. That was from Suzette also. So is this from Suzette. And see these little, here I go again. Are we ready to end? I'm gonna put the bottom part, but these are all so long. I'm gonna cut it right, let's see, how did he do it? You put this in soil, and I think it has to go this way. So, you leave, I think you cut it. I'm going to have to watch the video again on Gabriel's plants. But I think he clips it right here and sticks this long stem 
up until that root and sticks the leaf a little bit in, in the soil. Then cuts it here and this long stem acts like a plant tool and you just stick it down inside the soil. So we'll see. And that's how they get these full pots of plants that we buy in the supermarket. And this part right here, I think he would only cut right here and put this whole end tip in the soil. So I'll do a video on that whenever I do it. So take care of my plant friends and I'll see you soon. Thank you for coming to my channel.